happy for a study on lesson six. Would you be prepared to go? Let's leave what we've said so far. Let's forget about chapter 34. Could you address the point I raised in in lesson six? It says on page 28, Jehovah created the universe and all life. And I then went to Hebrews chapter one, verse two, which states that the that God created the universe through his son. Obviously, God there would be a reference to the father. And then I went to 1 Corinthians 8, 6, where creation is ek. The Greek preposition ek is out of. Creation is ek out of the father, 1 Corinthians 8, 6. And then it's die through the son. Die being dear in the genitives. Um, in the genitive. Um, so creation is from the father through the son. Now, as Jehovah, your book says Jehovah created the universe and all life. And I would agree with that wholeheartedly. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ is revealed as the creator, not all on his own. The father is the creator, the source of the creation. Jesus Christ creates. And we read in the Old Testament that the Holy Spirit creates. Therefore, Jesus must be Jehovah. No. Jehovah is not I, I one. I where you're coming from. I where you, I, I, I agree where you're coming from. It says uh, Proverbs, like I said uh, earlier, Proverbs eight thirty. It says, "Then I was beside him as a master worker. I was the one he was especially fond of day by day. So if he was always, or if he is always uh, infinite, infinite, he had no beginning or no end." That contradicts it. How? The, well, How? Well, he says, uh, uh, then then I was beside him. Yeah. Not always. Then I was beside him as a master worker. I was the one he was especially fond of day by day. How or does that prove? It? How does that prove that Jesus well, is? The, How does the, the other? The scriptures, the scriptures. No, let's deal with one thing at a time. Let's deal with one thing at a time. You raised Proverbs 8.30. How does Proverbs 8.30 teach that Jesus Christ is created? And by master, did you say craftsman or master worker? Master worker. Master worker. Do you believe that master worker means the creation of the universe? Uh, No, from what the Bible states, from what I know, from what I've been looking at, the, uh, when they said to make man in our image, there was obviously uh, somebody there, so obviously Jesus that was there. But he also says... Well, uh, I'm interested in Proverbs 8.30. What does master master worker mean? So, 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 so well, master worker, it means that what? obviously he was good at his job. I, I know what is his job? It's, it's not, it doesn't mean created. But what does master worker mean? Explain what master worker means in the verse you raised, Proverbs 8.30. A master worker? Sorry, are you unaware of what a master worker is? Would you like me to Google it for you? But well, doesn't it mean the creator? No. You said it doesn't well, mean the creator. In Jesus' sense, in Jehovah and Jesus' sense, yeah. He was, they were obviously created. Yeah, they I, were I created. From from there. You said they uh, were created. They is a plural. Are you saying the father and the no, son I, were created? They were creating. Oh, they were creating. IMG. Okay, I miss. I miss. I miss. I miss. Bit. I misheard you. Okay. Okay. So, so with, uh, for, from what you're saying, the question you, you always obviously was stoked your interest is the uh, the verse six, but the question you seem to be having of thing is basically draws back to the trinity again isn't it well if you if, jehovah who was always uh, creating the fact that the, the fact that jesus and the father both create in hebrews okay. 1 2 and 1 corinthians 8 6 prove that jehovah must be father and son the holy spirit creates i think it's job 33 4 or verse 6 i'd have to look at that so therefore the Jehovah, who who is the Creator, is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, so Job Job thirty three four. The, 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 the Spirit of God has. Trinity. Yeah, if you if you look at if you look at Proverbs eight thirty, it says, "I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning, from before there was ever an earth." So it's saying that the one who's with 
that this master craftsman is from everlasting. So, uh, Proverbs uh, eight, Proverbs eight twenty three. Are you on the Catholic theme? Uh, the Catholic lineage. Uh, are you from the Catholic side? I don't understand where your uh, professed faith for church. Is, is I don't have any of... faith in church. I never said I had any faith in church. You no, no, said no, that. I'm, I'm I've never asking. said that. I'm asking. I'm asking the question. I, I'm a former evangelical Christian. I gave up in 2000. Okay. I actually gave up twice. I gave up in 1991 when I was told at St. Austell Baptist Church by my home group leaders that the Trinity was pagan. And then I tried again when I moved to Plymouth and I gave up again in 2010. Apart from three meetings at Plymouth Christian Centre in 2012, yeah. three Alpha Course meetings when I was told that Jesus was the Father and I was also told um, uh, by um, the people on the table and the table head and the head of the Alpha Course, uh, a woman uh, oh, wow. who ran the Alpha Course there, that Jesus made two atonements. He made one atonement in hell and he made another atonement on the cross. He made a physical atonement on the cross. He went to hell and made a physical atonement to the devil. Oh, okay. yeah, and I came to the conclusion what... these people are complete idiots are making this all up. And I wanted yeah, nothing more I, to do I, with them. I, I, I we agree. Okay. Um, good. Yeah. So basically, I'm, I'm looking at uh, uh, page four or five in uh, in one of our books. Which of your books? Scriptures. Which of your books? Uh, reasoning from the scriptures. Page four o five. Okay. Yeah, four o five. Yeah. And it comes under doctrine uh, Trinity. Yeah. So that's basically. Um, that's that's pretty much what we believe. So it goes up to quite a few. Yeah. Would so you? I, 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 I think uh, if, if basically you're not going to get anything. Uh, I'm not going to get what, anything out of you, mate. Well, see, that's not very nice. Well, it's true. I I I I think you're here to preach to me. I I, I, I don't I think, think you're here. Polite. I don't think you're here to listen. I think you're here to preach from your books at me. And you sort of assume that I don't know your books and I don't know your literature. I've never well, been a Jehovah's... To interrupt me but again. I've, I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. OK, but I have spoken yeah. to a great many Jehovah's Witnesses yeah. in my time. OK, so what was you trying to gain from, from speaking to us again? Well... Because you, you, you must have known that uh, we, we, we disagree with the... The Trinity. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, what, but, what, was, what was the issue for today? What well, made you... the, the, the issue is, regarding Chapter 6, your book, quite correctly, on page 28, says, Summary, Jehovah created the universe and all life. And I firmly agree with that. Amen. I agree with that comment in your Jehovah's Witness book. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24, says that Jehovah creates, quote, all alone and by myself. Right, so there's no angels helping Jehovah. Jehovah creates all alone and by myself. Now, when you go to the New Testament, I read to you Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2, where God creates through his Son. You had no response to that at all. And then I went to 1 Corinthians. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? 1 Corinthians 8 6. I didn't respond, but every time I seem to be quiet, you seem to see that as a as an acknowledgement that you're right in some way. But you don't respond to anything. Well, you, 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 up until about 10 minutes ago, I didn't know what I was have, needing to respond Then to. why didn't you take my advice and take several days to research this properly? I, if, if you think that, actually, that reading, me, reading, I, I reading did. stuff... I, oh, re I said to you at the start, you did not, I, of this phone call, this second phone call, you did not make it clear. I made it very clear, I made it very clear that I was a Trinity, excuse me sir, now you're not being honest with me now, I made it very clear I'm a Trinitarian because I said firmly that the Father created through the Son, that is a Trinitarian position, now it, well, it, it, if, if you Christian don't well, know, Jesus. pardon? Jesus actually was, apart from Jesus was the, the only thing created by Jehovah, the begotten Son. He was created, 
and through well, Jesus, give me give me the verse give me a verse give me a verse give me a verse that that, that that says that jesus is created well give me a verse that says trinitarian there's 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 no verse because all exactly. theology is man-made if, if, if jesus knew what uh, all the attacks that satan was going to throw at, uh, at, at his teaching or his father's teaching bear mm. in mind that he says i do not do the uh, my own will i, I do mm. that of him who sent me yeah um so the, so the, the, the point i'm trying to make to you is that if Jesus was part of God, which was no, never No, Trinity, Trinity doesn't walk. teach that God has parts. You're misquoting no, you believe, the Trinity. You the Father, the Trinity the does not teach that God has parts because the being, the substance, the essence of God is undivided. The fourth point of the Athanasian Creed is not dividing the substance. So we don't believe that God has parts. Now, if the Trinity is wrong, then, then I'm happy to listen to any intelligent like comment that somebody we, has we, to criticise it. But don't misrepresent it. What you're doing well, no, is you're no, misrepresenting I, I, I something that you've it. never studied and you don't understand. Oh, I, I, do, I do understand. I just find it very offensive that uh, you, you're, you're, you're adding the, the word Trinity to uh, a God. I never who, used the word Trinity God, in my I'm first discussion. Excuse me, sir. Now you are being dishonest. I never used the word Trinity in my first discussion with you. I said that Jesus was God. I proved that the Messiah to come was Yahweh God. In Isaiah 40, he's, he's, he's hung up. In Isaiah 48, um, 17. And I also proved that Jesus um, is the creator. Hello, Paul. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Paul. It's me. Yeah. So, um, you were saying? Um, in I, my I, I first, think, I, think, I think, I think, what, 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 what? You we, said, ah, uh, you said you were saying. I was about to. I opened my mouth to speak, and then you interrupted yeah. me again. I, I, I think we should call this to an end. I think, obviously, we we have two different views, and I don't think. Uh, but you don't I'm know what across, you're talking I, I don't about. I'm getting across to you, and I don't think you're getting across to me. I think but, because we, you uh, don't listen, you oh, you you talk do, like you talk just, you talk at a very fast pace because you don't listen to people. You've never listened to people in your life. You're talking oh, about things that you don't understand. Oh, I understand it, but I I, I find it hard to understand. All right, understand all right, all right. If you understand, not right. All right, let's talk one at a time. If you understand it. Then you explain to me what the Trinity is accurately. The Trinity. Yeah. From from what I from what I've studied. No. No. Trinity. No. No. You explain what the Trinity doctrine is as taught in the creeds, and you do so accurately. Well, you believe that the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are one being. Is that correct? Yes, that's that's actually right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, what, what more would you like? Well, <laughs> that, that's where we disagree. That's uh, there's a lot more than that. What what is the Trinity? Could you if you disagree with the Trinity, it's because you've studied it. You know what it is and you can define it accurately. And then having defined it accurately, you can refute it. Well, the, the problem I have with you is that I've tried to explain, but I've been studying for over 13 years the Bible. Obviously, I don't didn't change from being a Catholic to a Jehovah's Witness overnight. I studied all this, but to be, as I said to you at the start, I don't want to give you my own words. Now, is that fair, that the Bible is the authority and that it should speak for itself? Yes, that's, that's is why, that, that is why no in more? my, excuse me, that is why in my first conversation with you, I clearly yeah. indicated on multiple occasions that I believe that Jesus was God I said that Jesus was Yahweh God. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me finish my sentence. I don't this like is, I, please listen. Stop preaching. Just listen. I, I, you accuse me of saying I was dishonest because I didn't use the word Trinity. Right? I focused on what the, I believe the Bible taught. In Isaiah 48, 17, the one who is sent, the me in verse 16, who is sent by um, Jehovah God, identifies himself as the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh God, or Jehovah. Now, I said that. We then went to um, the New Testament. 
I showed you that Jehovah is the creator, and we both agreed on that. And then I showed you in Hebrews 1, 2 and 1 Corinthians 8, 6, I showed you twice that the Father created through the Son. And I then said, so Jesus must be the creator. Now, you've accused me of somehow being deceptive. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you what I believe, that Jesus is Yahweh God. And maybe that uh, me not understanding that it's what you believe is, is kind of where I've fallen short with this conversation. I respect that you do have your beliefs, and, and that's probably the way, the way I should have started off. Um, how can I put this? We disagree. Now, you're, you're asking me for uh, an explanation of my beliefs in the conversation. Uh, obviously, you've asked me uh, over time uh, that I can come back a couple of days later. I believe that I had enough information from what I know. Could you speak away from the phone? Because it's getting very dis distorted. You're kind of shouting. You speak away from the phone. It'd be a little clearer. Thank you. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Paul. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, you don't need to speak so loud, though. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I can hear you. Thank okay, you. So thank you, sir. Because you said on that last speak, I was, um, I, did, I was struggling. I thought that you was, um, you were struggling to hear me. So no, I, yeah, I can um, hear you very clearly. So, yes, I say so. Uh, basically, what, what I wanted to say was, um, I, I, I don't believe in the Trinity. Um, I'm not going to be able to give you every single reason or every. Uh, meeting I've been to or every time I've opened the Bible and uh, I, I, over a period of time because it's been over 13 years. The, all I can do for you is give you what we, obviously what you, you've found up for which I know it started off with uh, chapter or bullet point six but it, the, the, the real reason or the, the loggerheads that we seem to find ourselves at is the Trinity. Um, you obviously have done your research and you believe what you believe. I've done mine uh, over many years and I believe that I, what I have is the truth as well. So the, the, the question we've got to answer though, is um, where do we go from here? Now, I, I can give you publications no, no, please stop. I, stop. I don't. Thoughts. I don't want publications. I probably know them better than you do. Would you be willing to look at another chapter of Enjoy Life Forever that doesn't discuss the Trinity, such as Warfare, Chapter Thirteen, on another day, another time, and this time you prepare properly? <laughs> 